Oh God. Ah! So, you know, as we began to work on this whole Grateful Dead project, I think, you know, I started off with people like Ruben and Graham who are on our team. Ruben actually was someone that we worked with freelance first and he was a Grateful Dead expert, someone that I looked to to really make sure when we're approaching this project that we're doing it from the right lens, approach, and respect for the years of history that have come with the Grateful Dead. Yeah, so we, you know, we all kind of just split off and, you know, did our own particular inspo research, brought our uh, particular ideas to the table about the type of things you want to bring in that maybe we hadn't seen even in dead culture before at all, um, like, but felt authentic to it. We thought it'd be a fun idea just to set up shop somewhere. So we're going all out and like fully uh, creating this really cool van that's gonna be a pop-up shop. The idea behind that was uh, just staying true to the scene. Like, I mean, selling t-shirts in the parking lot at Grateful Dead shows is, uh, you know, really the essence of um, what we're trying to do. and. Uh, I feel like that's gonna be a really cool thing to present and people will really vibe with that. So guys, today we're actually gonna go through three steps from the concepting stage, development stage, to actual final execution. In the beginning, it'll be all about ideating, getting sketches down, starting off with just the most rudimentary influence of actual design process. In the middle, we're actually gonna be taking those designs, chopping away, kind of getting to a place where we feel good about the design. And at the end, once we finalize that, we're gonna be taking you guys through the whole process of actually understanding how we're communicating those products to our final consumer. The biggest thing for us is always about understanding that these kids don't always know the story that we're trying to tell with a graphic, with a shirt, with a product. We have to tell it for them. We have to take them in and help them have an experience they're never gonna forget. We actually are thinking about designing a van. So in taking you guys through this process, we really wanted to dig into like even where we started. I'm very excited. We're gonna go do a little bit of research on kind of how I wanna approach it. You know, as we dig in further, I was kind of just doing research on, you know, the VW Harlequin and it became so intriguing to me to think about how we could take probably to me one of the most iconic VW, you know, car colors, executions, limited editions and reinvigorate it into a new age vision of what Grateful Dead Chinatown Market could truly be in the form of a van. So, you know, as we look at this, do the research, I really want to kind of dig into this idea of like panel in color, color blocking. It's all the same type of ethos and attitude we brought to designing the apparel collection. So, you know, obviously we start with the apparel, the apparel's core, and then as we unpack it and kind of expand, we're able to then go in and design the van. You could slap a smiley on a, on a steely and uh, call it a day, but it's not really doing much. You gotta like really go for it and try to get creative with it. You know, the beauty sometimes of all this stuff is to like, over design and then like pull it all back. So I think for me right now is like, how do we over design the shit out of this right now and like hopefully pull some things back. All right, guys, we got our flash drive. We're gonna send it to Dan. You ready? Tell me about what you've mechanic so far. Drove to Arizona to pick this thing up, drove it overnight, got home, took it to my buddy's next level paint here in Albuquerque, and they knocked out all the dents, all the dings, did all the body work, primed, sanded, sealed, In done. one day. In one day. So during my off week, while the paint was out gassing, I did the entire interior. I did it all in my driveway, and for most of the upholstery, I used this really sick top of the line sewing machine. Motor's done. It's time to head to my buddy's shop, one click stick, to get this thing rapid. I think uh, just having a hand-drawn DIY element uh, to the graphics is really cool and it feels very true to the shakedown scene, which is, it's not so cookie cutter. There's a way to do it, to, to make it your own. And I feel like Chinatown Market did a great job at uh, doing that. It's three weeks of hard work, labor, dedication, determination, and we're dropping it off at Chinatown Market. We're gonna, good God. We're gonna get the reactions of the crew and the team, because they haven't seen it yet, and I refuse to send them any pictures. Oh, 
Oh man. Relax a little. This is nice. I think that's why, especially on this project, we wanted to have some fun with it because not everything needs to be so serious. Like we gotta remember sometimes, like people are just trying to have some fun. Oh Three, my God. two, one. Yeah, this is crazy. Absolutely right. insane. Mental. Mental. All of the draperies, all the seats, the, the coverings here. Oh my here. god. That, that stuff doesn't even like look 3D. So I you know. know. That's why it's amazing. Getting into the game, it's difficult. It's even more difficult if you try to be something that you think will be successful. Don't emulate what's already successful. That's the that's the easiest way to fail. I mean, that's probably probably the best thing I could say. All right. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And by the way, guys, this van is going to be hopefully all over the world. We're going to be driving this van. We're going to do some random pop-ups. We're going to give away some Crocs. Who knows? Just stay tuned. Be sure to check out more videos at Chinatown Market and Donut Media. Chinatown Market signing out. Kiss, kiss, poos, poos. <laughs>